The Daures Green Hydrogen Village is located about 90 kilometers from Uis. The village is rolling out an ambitious plan to locally produce synthetic fertilizer by 2026. The aim is to use green hydrogen, which is produced by using solar energy. Such hydrogen, also known as clean hydrogen, is used to create ammonia, which is a key component of ammonium sulfate fertilizer. Stakeholders held a groundbreaking ceremony to announce phase two of the project, which entails the construction of the fertilizer plant. Commenting the initiative, the Erongo governor said the project will strengthen Namibia's food security, boost agricultural productivity, and drive export growth. Natalia Nwakoses further indicated that the project is providing job opportunities and skills transfer for Namibians. The governor was, however, disappointed that traditional conservancy and regional leaders failed to attend the groundbreaking ceremony. I don't know whether they were invited and decided not to be here. This is a milestone event, once again. Event, and in particular the village, that is not only addressing the food security issues, but would create jobs, would bring back the dignity, change the life and the livelihoods of our people in this Taurus constituency to better. But if the very people are not present, I am worried. These are vital shareholders and direct representatives of the people. I am referring to the chiefs, the conservancy chairpersons, the leaders of our original council, in their absence. The Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Water and Land Reform stressed that the initiative aligns with national goals by offering practical solutions to challenges of soil fertility. Namibia's agricultural landscape continues to face increasing pressure from climate variability, <laughs> persistent drought, and with widespread land degradation. These conditions have led to decline in soil fertility, reduced water retention, and nutrient losses. The plant will make fertilizer more accessible and more affordable for Namibian farmers, especially small scale producers in our rural areas. It also signals the development of a homegrown value chain, creating local jobs, building technical skills, and stimulating innovations in the agricultural and green energy sectors. Wolfish Bay based NBT Quality Service will construct the fertilizer plant in six months. We're going to construct um, a similar warehouse whereby the ammonia sulfate is going to be now stored. So we are very excited to be part of this project since it's, it's now the first of its kind. And we're very excited since we're going to now showcase our skills and also employ people to do skill transfer.